Okay, so I wanted to make a bit of a follow-up for the uh, last bit of my gardening endeavors. I think tomorrow I'm going to harvest everything, but I wanted to show you guys this uh, scenery. I don't know if you can see it, but it just looks like Silent Hill, zombie survival, whatever franchise you want to go for. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, here's the, the rest of the garden. I, for, I always forget about these guys. They're mostly, like the rain takes care of the watering, so I didn't really pay attention to these guys. I believe this is a uh, developing grapevine. Hopefully it's a grapevine. I also heard that it could also be a species of plants that's very invasive, but also happens to look like a grapevine. Marigolds are still beautiful and aren't going anywhere. That's amazing. And this foliage, I don't know what that is specifically. But that that seems, um, it's beautiful, you know? Like, I like the red and green kind of coloration on the, those guys. Those are more for aesthetics because I couldn't really decide what to plant here. So I, it was decided for me what to plant here, basically. Uh, moving on. Here's how barren the, not barren, but like it looks wilty, the cherry tomato plants. But you could see, just like in an earlier video, they're trying to climb down and reach the bottom so that they could feed the ground and reseed and form new life out of cherry tomatoes and stuff. I find that very, very cool in nature, you know? It's like the... The generations continuing, you know, the lineage, They're trying to survive, just like all of us. That's why we grow these things, you know, agricultural age and all that stuff. Moving on to the rest of the plants. I think these are Mexican marigolds, if I'm not mistaken, right here. Those aren't really doing as well as... Uh, these marigolds, I believe they're, they're marigolds. Don't quote me on that, but they don't seem to be doing as well as the yellow. Other than that, you know, pretty, pretty solid for these plants up here. Looks very beautiful. There are a couple categories. I wanted to plant beans here, but we didn't really get the beans in time to plant. But yeah, moving on to the last and but not least, all the regular tomatoes. Uh, you know, still green, not very well developed, but I think, you know, it'll be like one of those, it's just kind of, oh, this one might take a little bit of work to get off, but I just want to see if they could come off naturally, and just give it a little, this one, no, not so much, I don't want to put too much stress on them, because maybe they're, you know, they're good, you know, good for keeping, good for growing a bit more. But man, this fog. I hope the camera can pick this up, but like, oh, it's blurry. It just got blurry for a second because it's trying to make sense of things. But I think when you got the light there, it really does bring that out. And just the moon, the ominous moon. It's going to be a full moon on Halloween night. Very symbolic, you know? <laughs> but yeah, that was the rest of the what I wanted to show you guys. We planted some other flowers. This one seems to be doing better than this one, <laughs> as you can see plainly. I can't believe some of these plants are still alive. That's how you know Mother Nature is very resilient. Like these guys. These guys don't have any drainage, and I'm surprised that they're alive. They were even alive for the summer, because like none of these, none of these little planters have any drainage. And I, I don't understand why. It's not like we're growing blueberries here. Just cutesy little flowers, you know. Those flowers are pretty much dead up there. It's the rev garden up there. I still gotta do that. I think I'm gonna maintain it tomorrow and work on it. Uh, work on it a bit tomorrow then yeah we'll uh, 
We'll get it done, man. <laughs> I want to see if I could, like, walk into the forest. I still got cherry tomatoes in my pocket. <laughs> Probably going to have those as a snack later. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> you could barely... Oh, man. Then somebody can dub in some, like, spooky monster. Like a Wendigo. Or a Lycan or something. Using 3D technology and, you know, blend that right in there. Because, there, you know, we literally have, like, a... Hold on. Oh, jeez. I, I don't know if you can see it, but there's, like, a gate up here. This is like the beginning of every horror game where you see like this, this gate. Ooh, ooh, shit, ooh. There's gonna be a note. Actually, one Halloween we did have uh, some kind of a scavenger hunt where it was very much like a, a zombie survival. I wouldn't say a zombie survival, but it was one of those like Slender Man type of like... Ooh, we found the next letter. What does it mean? I love stories like that because it's, it's very, very, keeps you on edge. Very ominous, I guess. And the storyline was cute. It was kid-friendly and all that stuff. I think my Uncle Gil was in like a, a pile of leaves next door. Scared the shit out of my cousin Steph. So, <laughs> I felt so bad that she got really spooked. Um... But, and, I, and I'm sure he felt pretty bad, too, scaring his daughter. But, man, uh, I, those were the days, man. You know, uh, scavenger hunt type of, you know, Scooby-Doo st style of, uh, you know, ooh, what's, what's in the next letter? I don't know if you guys remember that Scooby-Doo special where it was, like, Shaggy had a red shirt. And like a really hot girlfriend. And it was like Scooby and Scrappy for whatever reason, I think. And it was literally like, oh, you, you just inherited this mansion. And, you know, some, something about like, you know, do all this random shit. And there was like, I don't know, like a hundred. It was, it was like an hour special or something like that. And there was like a hundred different areas in which to look for clues and solve riddles and stuff. I love that. I love that. I, I don't want to move forward because I'm, I'm chicken. No, I'm not chicken. Oh, jeez. Well, hopefully a zombie doesn't come up and try to eat my brains. You can barely see anything. I, I only got a flashlight in front of this. I think I'll go back. I just wanted to show you my garden, but this is cool how spooky it looks. Hope it's like this for Halloween. <laughs> but yeah, we'll go back to safety. Because I am a wholesome boy. I don't have time for this type of spookiness. <laughs> Look at the light. Good old-fashioned light. I'll admit, though, I do like hanging out in the dark at night. Like, I really love the peace and quiet. Like, listen. I mean, that's me walking, but, like, Just listen. Just the sound of nature doing its thing. The bugs trying to have sex. Rain droplets falling from the what's left of the leaves. Very quiet, very peaceful. I really love that. The smell. 
very earthy. The smell of the leaves down here. Very, very peaceful, nostalgic smell. Playing in the leaves. And it's just quiet. Nothing's going on. Just nature doing its own thing. Nobody's trying to harm anyone. Just peaceful. You don't get that in the daytime. That's why I've grown to love the night. Not to be all gothy or anything like that. Maybe I'm secretly like a, some kind of a goth kid, where I have like a level of, of apathy towards the world. That could be me. I just never got my hair done <laughs> to look like that, to, to match the aesthetic of the The, the anti-conformist type of thing. There are some berries growing around here too. I never got an opportunity to pick them and eat them because I was afraid of dying. But I, I think the birds did enjoy them. They had a good time. I had a good snack. Glad for them. Hopefully, they eat some of the wasps that, that have been showing up in my house. But I think for now, over here, this is where it gets spooky. Look at that. Just so, I mean, without the house in the background, this context kind of looks a bit spoops. Or, or even over here. But I think around here is where I'm gonna plant a couple apple trees, maybe some Granny Smiths. My mom loves Granny Smiths. It has a nice, something with a nice tart flavor pre-grafted and all that stuff. I'm not a pro at, at grafting. I don't know the first thing about it. <laughs> I'm just some guy. That's kind of cool. That's a, is that a tree growing? A small tree growing up. A new hope for life. Such a beautiful thing. Yeah, I think that'll do it for this video. Oh, it's time to return back to the light. I hope you guys have a good night. <laughs> Take care.